The primary application we're targeting at first is to give people a decision aid during rehabilitation following an acute knee injury to help them understand when they can perform particular activities and when they can move to different intensities of particular activities. A useful thing to take crack at. Such an agreement would include recognition that the world must aim as soon as possible to hold global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius, a long-term low-carbon future, five-year updated action plans that recognize the developing climate reality and aid to those countries that did little to cause climate change but are most at risk from it. Written examinations are a fact of life for most high school and university students. However, recent studies have shown that this traditional form of assessment may not be an accurate indicator of academic performance. Tests have shown that many students experience anxiety during exam weeks, which leads to poorer results. As a result, some learning institutions are replacing exams with alternative assessments such as group work and oral presentations.
Pluto lost its official status as a planet yesterday, when the International Astronomical Union downsized the solar system from nine to eight planets. Although there had been a passionate debate at the IAU General Assembly meeting in Prague about the definition of a planet and whether Pluto met the specifications, the audience greeted the decision to exclude it with applause. Life expectancy has increased dramatically in the last century. Most people these days will live for over 70 years. This is more than double the lifespan of the average human in the 17th century. We can attribute our longevity to advances in medicine and lifestyle. While everyone agrees that living longer is wonderful, overpopulation is becoming a serious environmental concern. Many people believe that employers discriminate against older people because youths have more energy and creativity. This is not true. The main reason for hiring younger workers is payroll. In most countries, your salary is dependent on how many years of work experience you have. It is far more cost efficient to hire postgraduates fresh out of university than senior staff with over 20 years of industry knowledge.
Roman writers and orators began to expand their imaginative and intellectual horizons and refine the Latin language through the study of Greek literature. Early Roman literature had two kinds, the recording and examination of public life and behavior through life stories of famous men and the particularly Roman art of satirical comedy and drama. The researchers think that long-distance flyers such as the American Golden Plover and the white rump Sandpiper picked up the spores while lining their nests. Then when the birds arrive in new places, they molt, leaving behind the feathers and their precious cargo to start growing again at the other end of the world. The one-year program of the Master in Global Management is designed only for those who have the graduate degree in the thesis increasing temporary skill of new managers in an international capacity, something that recruiters are looking for more and more.
The caterpillars that feed on trees are trying to match the hatching of their eggs to the timing of bud burst. The caterpillars want to feed on the juiciest and least chemically protected leaves. And it's not just the caterpillars, of course, that are important. But the knock-on effect is on nesting birds, which are also trying to hatch their chicks at the same time that there's the maximum number of caterpillars. Britain, then, was slower to create and develop a police force than the rest of Europe. France had won long before. Indeed, the word police is taken from the French. This fact was not unimportant, as the very idea of a police force was seen as foreign, that is French, and particularly undesirable, and was generally regarded as a form of oppression.
A university is not a business. More precisely, a not-for-profit college or university is significantly different than a for-profit business. A university has no owners, it is a public trust. Without owners, it has no one to pay dividends to and no one for whom it must maximize its profits. A business has a single overriding goal, the maximization of return for the owners. A university has a multiplicity of goals to foster learning, to create knowledge, and to serve its community. Trump has threatened to declare China a currency manipulator, but experts say he has little legal or economic basis to take such a step. He has also threatened to impose a tariff of up to 45% on Chinese imports if Beijing doesn't behave a move that could lead to a trade war and damage the economies of both nations. Each tube-shaped micro-robot is a sandwich of three materials. A graphene outer layer, which binds to heavy metals. A middle layer of nickel, which gives the bots magnetic polarity so they can be pulled through wastewater with magnets. And platinum inside for propulsion. Just add a bit of peroxide to the wastewater and it will react with the platinum to form water and oxygen bubbles which propel the tubes along. 